Hi there, this is Ashley with DAV, and I've got kind of a special story to share with you that's very near and dear to my heart. Um, a few years ago, we had a veteran uh, named Dahlia who reached out to us to share her story about being an MST military sexual trauma survivor. She was assaulted at knife point many decades ago while she was serving in the army and was kicked out because nobody believed her at the time, even though they had asked her um, after the fact to come back and testify against her attacker. Uh, and he ultimately ended up in jail for a, a string of assaults similar to hers. Um, but for many, many years, Dahlia was unable to access her veterans benefits because she did not have an honorable discharge. So once I got my hands on this story, I knew uh, we couldn't let it die there. And um, we connected her with one of our national service officers down in Florida, a wonderful person named Naomi, um, as well as the Veterans Consortium, which um, is a group that we have a partnership with through the DAV Charitable Service Trust, and they make it their mission to work with veterans to get them um, upgraded discharges uh, when they've been kicked out due to things like military sexual trauma um, or you know, some sort of mental health issue that may have stemmed from PTSD or a traumatic brain injury, things like that. Um, so it has been a very long road. I, I can't lie and say that the process has been easy for Dahlia. And there were many times that you know along the way she wanted to give up. She didn't want to talk about it anymore. Very understandable. Many MST survivors share that that same um, experience. And the pandemic over the past year has certainly slowed the process down quite a bit. It's been difficult to get records. People have not been in the office as much, so it, it's been hard. Um, and even though the process was slowed down considerably, um, we finally had some great news to share with Dahlia the other day. And um, it's, it's really not just a testament to the great people at the Veterans Consortium, but also to our national service officers, the folks that are out there um, every day working with veterans one-on-one -on -one to make sure that, that they're getting um, the benefits that they've earned. So I wanted to share this with you because I think it really demonstrates why we do the work that we do um, on behalf of our fellow veterans every single day. So Dahlia, I know, um, and I mentioned to Naomi this morning that you had received the letter from VA, and I know that that it's jarring, I understand, um, without really any context as to why you'd received that letter. And, um, you know, I know you, you just had this wonderful expansion of your family, and so we didn't want to take anything away from that. Um, but Naomi did reach out to me last week and let me know that there was some news that she wanted to share. And we thought it would be so nice to do it. Can't do it in person, but it would be nice to at least see you face to face. So I'm going to let Naomi take it from here. Yes. Hey, so um, as of June 17th, the VA has found that uh, your period of service um, is um, honorable for VA purposes. They made an administrative decision and said that your period of service is honorable. And they based it off of the information that they actually already had in the file. <laughs> Thank you. Great news. <laughs> uh, I wish we could be there in person to give you I know, I'm so excited. I'm glad to see you later Sunday. Thank you so much. I just it's been 30 some years waiting. I need some, some type of validation. Yes. I feel and that somebody's validating my story of what happened. Yeah. I love you guys so much for all you have done for me. You did it. Yeah. You did it. Oh, we didn't do anything. We were just we were just the coach telling you, go, go, keep I going. Know. Don't stop going. I know, I know you did. So ladies, I'm ready. I am so ready. And I just I'm, I may have to take some time off now after this news. I just feel very happy inside. I know it hasn't been an easy process, but I'm, I 
think I can speak for myself and for Naomi and so many of my colleagues were just, were in awe of how much strength and resolve you've showed throughout this entire process. I know. It's- yeah, I don't, I don't call myself a victim anymore. <laughs> I have learned how to say I'm a survivor. <laughs> I hope that one day I can share my story with other women out there. And I'm, and I'm planning to, you know, to get better, to get certified. Absolutely. And learn, and learn was- how, how to be like you, help other people out there. <laughs> it's people like you that keep me going. You're my oh. hero. Oh, Naomi. Thank you. Thank you.